All right, thanks for staying with us. You're still watching where is now the Vietnam War has a long history. It was one of the longest wars involving America. Starting in 1955, the war <coughs> went on until 1975, making it the second longest war, aside from the ongoing Afghanistan war. Now, we commemorate those who fought in the Vietnam War on National Vietnam War Veterans Day. Uh, which is celebrated on March 29. Now, there's no doubt that the Vietnam War was one of the most brutal um, in the history of wars in the world. So, my dear, you know when people are saying, go and do this, go and do that. If you have not been in a position where you have to run to save your life, you can't understand. Me, I've not experienced this war. The people that experienced Biafra, they said so many things around, you know, how... You know, some people are still, like, some people have not come out of that trauma that they faced. Me that went through Sharia crisis in Kaduna, all the Sharia wars and all of that, I can imagine. So, you know, it took a long time. If I see flashlights, if I hear loud noise, like the knockouts that they do, the fireworks they do during the Christmas season, it was always giving me palpitations, you know. I, I think it was just of recent. I started getting comfortable with loud noise because you have to run left they'll say oh they are coming that you are palpitating you are panicking knowing that your life is right in front of you and again now people that have gone through all the dra the traumas of boko haram people that have been kidnapped you know in dens and now you now imagine full-blown war where there are guns machine guns different kinds of things and you don't even know where to run to mm -hmm. see what is happening in russia and ukraine yeah. War is not a pleasant thing to experience. I'm also, I would say, I thank God I've not really experienced um, that level of violence. With a small one I've even seen in Lagos, I think during um, the NSAS where there were gunshots, I was like, oh my God. Then I can just imagine, mm -hmm. you know, what people who are facing this on a regular, I mean, talk about Russia and Ukraine, it's not something to pray for. You know that thing, man, the, this Russian and Ukraine thing started like a joke. Oh. Yeah. Like, okay, I mean, we thought, okay, maybe they will just... Seven months now, it's a small, yes, now, it's a small quarter day week. Look at where we are today. And to even know that it's just one person sitting and declaring and war, we don't even and people know, are going to die. We don't even know when the, this war would end. Because it's still very much... God will help us. All right, so what did you find for us, Gloria, in the news? Um, so, it's about population census. Um... I've not been privileged to be part of one in Nigeria. I don't even know if I was if I'm part of the people that were counted the last time or who are. Really? <laughs> so it says um, people should stay where they are. It's generally an advice, I think maybe because of um, misconception. It says people should stay where they are to be counted. They are not to move to their states of origin. It is totally against the essence of the census. You have to be counted where you reside because that's where you enjoy the social facilities like education, health, among others. This coming from Isiaka Yahaya, spokesperson, National Population Commission. So I was just going through this write-up and I noticed some people were leaving comments such as, um, why should you say people should stay where they are during um, elections? Some tribes were not recognized in a particular region. So I think it's just about those sort of things that happen during the election. So people are just having sort of mis misconception on where should they be and all of that for the population census. So hmm. I'm just um, waiting to see how everything goes. I think I, I, I really just want to see how. So now they said they're going to use, it's going to be very digital this time around. So I hope maybe the process is seamless and the results are better. Hmm. You know, the funny thing, that's why my son is actually home earlier, like a week earlier, um, because they had, you know, planned to get the, what's it called? The, um, the census done. So the school had prepared and now moved their examinations a week earlier. Do you understand? Okay. So eventually... Now we are not even, we don't know what the, the story is, yes. whether there is a census or not, you know, and all of that. Okay, so um, my story is on, I saw it is a very, very sad story. Honestly, I feel so sad because um, I had seen something, but I'm, I, I'm trying to pull it out, but I couldn't find it. I'd seen something around a pastor that was, I think, was arrested or something for the same thing. You know how you they talk about rape of minors, mm -hmm. right? This one was just really heartbreaking because this person was alleged to have raped um, a, a nine-month-old baby. Wow. 
What? I'm telling you. He's a 27-year-old man um, of Railway Ijora Badia, right? I think that's his name. He's been alleged of defiling a nine-year-old, a nine-month-old nine baby. How? And this was by the spokesperson of the um, the co um, police command, that's um, Benjamin Udain, confirmed the person's arrest on Wednesday. Um, he said that the case was reported to the police on Monday at about 10 p.m. Um, by concerned members of the public. He said that the suspect allegedly went to the apartment where the baby's mother laid her on the floor and quickly went to buy something outside the compound. Now, he had suspected alleged, um, allegedly, the suspect had allegedly had sexual intercourse with the little baby and immediately ran from the scene. And the mother of the baby, um, the mother now is 16 years old. Oh. So she came to the station with the baby and was issued a medical form to enable her, of course, take all the, do all the medical attention that the child would need. However, the suspect was smoked out from hiding by detectives uh, from Ijora. I think it's Ijora Division, Badia Division. And the spokesperson complained that um, the suspect had made statements aiding that the suspect confessed to the crime during interrogation. Um, this is really sad. He said the, the crime scene was photographed when the police visited blood stains and God. they recovered some exhibit. He said the case and the file will be transferred to gender section of the state command. This thing here, yeah. I can actually kill somebody for this. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain how I feel. Um, and this stems from, because again, if you check, if you go deep to dig into these things, you would hear things like, oh, one Baba told them to do this, to do that, you know, go and probably have sex with a virgin or go and defile a child and all of that. Because these things cannot be far from the quest for money. Qu quick money. It can't be far from it. Because what kind of what? pleasure would you derive from a nine month old? Even us that we are adults, if you get us, you go do the thing. I'll say, hey, it's, too, it's, too, it's too painful, please. You, you know, not to talk about a child, a nine month old baby. This is really sick. We have a lot of sick people. I have always said this thing before. See, once they catch you raping anybody, whether it's a, an old person or a young person, just first of all, castrate the person. Let's castrate, they will not think of. Whether I want to send you to jail yeah. or want to maybe execute you by electric chair or by hanging or something. But first of all, let's remove the, 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 tool. the tool for crime, you know, because it does not make any sense. There's nothing I, 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 I detest more than taking advantage of someone. It is okay if the person gives you consent to say, okay, let's, let's have a good time. But you take, an adva you take advantage and do advantage of someone. I can't stand that. You know, and the, the not to talk of the fact that this one says, ah, please let them let them follow through, follow because through. from the report now it doesn't even seem like it was the, the the you know well thankfully it was the mother that took the baby to the but the, now look at the problem again, she's sixteen, 16 year old yeah. she's a sixteen year old child, a child having a child. Why would you leave your child on the floor to say you want to go and buy something? You couldn't have put the child on your back. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know what to say. Wh where, what can we even say? There's nothing to be said. The only thing it's, is that we're hoping that so this sad. child will recover from this it's and so hopefully sad. the child, you know, is, the damage is not badly. Yeah. Because some of these things, Nine you know, scars old. them for life. Yeah, because Nine again, sometimes old. their wombs are damaged. So many things, just all their internal organs is just acting up. Nine-month-old baby. Gosh. All right, we'll take a break. Let's discuss water. Hopefully our guests will join us. Stay with us. We'll be right back.